Good morning. Welcome to our Strong and Sturdy podcast. I hope you're having a great day so far. It's been a little bit since I've been able to do a video. We've had a very busy summer and then we had chocolate sales for our youth conference that took up a good three weeks. We had camp, great time at the end of June. Then we had our youth conference uh, uh, as we were, uh, jumped right into July out in Hammond, Indiana. A couple of our kids surrendered to uh, serve God with their lives. Always a wonderful thing and uh, seeing what God can do in the lives of young people. We took a short uh, vacation to Canada for a, a week and a half or so and now we're back in school starting. Today is our first day at Hopewell Baptist Academy and uh, just seeing and excited to see what God can do here fall and into the winter and and uh, uh, as we go towards uh, the new year. Um, I'm going to bring to you a verse this morning. Uh, Colossians chapter 1 Verse 22, the Bible says, In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. And uh, God presents us. When a person trusts Christ as his Savior, and uh, he becomes three things. And the Bible says, number one, he becomes holy. At the end of the verse, you'll notice it says, in his sight. And uh, when we get to heaven, we're not uh, getting to heaven because of our sight, because of how we look at each other. It's because of how God looks at us and how God sees us. So when a person trusts Christ as their Savior, Christ pays for sin. He pays for it in its entirety. And as a result, uh, uh, man, uh, the, the person who trusts Christ as their Savior, the saved individual becomes holy before God. This simply is means perfect, set apart, consecrated, and that He is holy. I am perfect in the eyes of God when it comes to eternity through Jesus Christ. I could not get my own perfection. I could not attain my own holiness. All the holiness that I have comes through Jesus Christ. I take on his holiness. He died, he was buried, he rose again, he paid for sin, 100% of sin in its entirety. And that's a wonderful thing. There's nothing I can do to get my own holiness because I am not holy or perfect in any in any respect. But I know somebody that is, his name is Jesus Christ. And he gives Man, he gives man, the saved individual, his holiness. And uh, through that, we become holy. That in the eyes of God, I am holy. In the eyes of God, I am perfect. Number two, the Bible uses the word unblameable. And uh, if you understand the word blamed, you know, if you've ever been blamed for something, and uh, somebody's pointed the finger at you. The reason why this happened is because of you. Maybe it's an accident. Maybe it's something that happened between siblings, between friends, between co-workers. But you were blamed. In the eyes of God, I cannot be blamed. Uh, there's not one finger. Uh, the finger of God is not going to point to me and say, Are you not going to heaven because of this? No, Jesus Christ paid it all. And all I did was accept the payment that he made. And it was applied to my account. And since my account is perfect, since my, my, my account is holy, since my, my account is without sin, I am unblameable. And I cannot be, uh, the finger cannot be pointed. There's not one sin that will stop me from entering into heaven. Now there are, there's sin that sin does stop a relationship, does hinder the relationship you have with God in our physical lives, in our practical Christian life, but it does not stop you from going to heaven. And uh, what a wonderful thing that is, that I can know I'm going to heaven, and I can know that I'm going to spend eternity with God, because through Jesus Christ, I am unblameable. The sin is covered. The sin that I commit and when it comes to the eternal basis, we point to the blood of Jesus Christ and says, Nope, it's covered. Nope, it's taken care of. Nope, it's done. It's finished. And there's nothing that, no sin that could ever send me to hell. What about, nope, God paid for it. What about, nope, what if I do, nope, what, God paid for it all. And I can't be blamed. I'm innocent. And uh, uh, the devil can accuse me, but I have been covered by the blood of Christ. And the devil is accuser of the brother. And he'll stand there and he'll say, well, he doesn't deserve it. And the truth is, I don't deserve it. And uh, But I'm trusting somebody who is wonderful. I'm trusting somebody who is 
perfect. And that, that person named Jesus Christ can point the devil and say, you know what? He's trusted me. He's mine. I've saved him. I've taken care of his soul. And there's nothing you can do. You can accuse him all day and all night, but the blood covers all. The blood covers it all. It's not only holy, not only unblameable, but unreprovable. I cannot be reproved for eternity. I cannot be reproved when it comes to the eternal, uh, being, uh, as far as being eternal and uh, the eternal soul. And I can't do it. There's nothing that condemns me. And in the eyes of God, Christ covers it all. In the eternity, there's nothing I can do wrong. And I'm going to heaven. I'm spending an eternity with God. I'm unreprovable. And there's nothing God will say when I step foot into heaven. I'll say, oh, but you, uh, you're all good, but you did this wrong. We got to correct this. No, there's nothing that needs to be corrected when I stand before God. What made the eternal correction was Jesus Christ. What made the eternal reproof when it comes to my sin was the payment that Christ made on the cross. And that payment was applied to my account. And it was eternally corrected completely without missing. And what a wonderful thing that is. The verdict is the blood of Christ. In the eyes of God and the blood of Christ, I am perfect. And what a wonderful thing that is. That nothing else can make a man perfect except the blood of Jesus Christ. It takes away that sin, covers that sin, turns it, and though you be read in Scripture, shall be uh, uh, white as snow. God takes care of it all, makes it completely clean. And since I'm perfect, there's no need to be corrected. Since I'm holy, there's no need to be corrected. Since I'm unblameable, there's no need for me to be corrected. No need for me to be reproved. I'm unreprovable in the eyes of God. I have taken on Christ's righteousness. His righteousness becomes mine when it comes to eternity. Now we move, if we go into the practical, which is for another lesson, that yes, sin does hinder your personal relationship with God. You cannot sin and have live in sin and have a great relationship with God. It's just not going to happen. And when it comes to eternity, a person who is saved, a person who is born again, trusted Christ as their Savior, is holy in the eyes of God, is unblameable in the eyes of God, is unreprovable in the eyes of God. And nothing will send a saved person to hell. And it gives me great uh, uh, joy to know that I'll never step foot in hell. That my soul is eternally secure in the hand of God. And uh, he takes care of it all. He takes care of it completely. And there's nothing I can do. I can't save myself. I can't keep myself. I can't uh, uh, garner, my, garnish my, garner my own righteousness. It's only by Jesus Christ. His sacrifice. His payment. The one who died for, once for sins for all. One time. That's it. It was taken care of. One time I placed my faith and my trust in Christ. And that's all that is needed. One time God heard. One time God saved. One time I'll step foot into heaven. Rejoicing that I am perfect through Him. Rejoicing that I was corrected once through Him. Rejoicing that I am unblameable in the eyes of God through Him. Well, that's, all, um, that's a blessing. Hope that's an encouragement to you today. If I can be a help to you, please let me know. And I'd love to see you. It was out Saturday. Got to see a young man named Damien Saved. It was an accident uh, a, few, a couple of years ago or so. And amazing how God sets things up. He said he rode a church bus when he was younger out in Oklahoma City. And just outside, about 20 minutes uh, outside of Oklahoma City. And, and uh, God... Uh, uh, brought him to Longmont for us to meet up. We sweetly trust a Christ as Savior. Hoping he'll come out uh, soon. And But it's always important to be a soul winner. And uh, have a great day, and God bless.